before you get rid of those tin cans and toss those popsicle sticks, you might want to watch this video. Here at Crafty Hackers, we've got lots of ways to repurpose everyday objects and turn them into fun toys to keep you busy over the summer. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe to our Crafty Hackers channel to be the first to see our new videos. Give it a big thumbs up. Let's get started. DIY Drum Kit Save those tin cans. We've got a fun hack to turn them into musical instruments. First, spray paint the cans with your favorite color spray paint. Got some balloons? Blow them up, then let out the air to make them more stretchy. Now cut the end off of the balloon and stretch it over the opening of the can. Secure it on with a rubber band. Pick up some chopsticks and cue the drum solo. Crazy Cans Game All right, you know the drill. Save your cans and spray paint them your favorite color. When they're dry, stack them up. Now you're going to need a bowl of uncooked rice and an old sock. Cut the end off the sock at the middle. Fill the sock with rice, fold in the edge, and hot glue it shut. Ready to play the crazy cans game? Stack them up, score. See how much you can do with a rice sock and some cans? Memory game. Got some decorative craft paper? Check this out. Fold the paper lengthwise, measure it out, and draw a popsicle shape on the inside of the paper. Use that shape as a template to make more popsicle shapes on a new piece of construction paper. Decorate one with stamps or stickers. Then make an identical shape on another one. Make several pairs with fun shapes and designs. Time for the popsicle stick. Glue it onto the back of your design and glue the craft paper onto the other side. Repeat with your other popsicle designs. Now you've got a memory game you can play with your friends. Easy and fun. It's a match. Flower bubble blower. What's a summer without bubbles? Here's a way to make your own bubble wand. Grab a piece of baking parchment paper and draw a flower design on it. Trace your flower with a hot glue gun and add a kebab stick. Add some decorative beads to the center, then peel the glue off the paper. We are ready for the bubble solution. Add a bit of dish soap to a cup of water and stir to combine. Dip in your bubble wand and enjoy the bubbles. Happy summer! Mini foosball. Keep that shoe box. We're going to turn it into a fun game of foosball. Cut off any extra flaps from your box. Now measure the size of a ping pong ball on the side of the box. Cut out your goal based on the size of the ball. Cut the flap so that each side matches. They should look like this when you're done. Glue the sides into place. Now we're gonna cut out the top with an X-Acto knife. It's starting to come together. Next, get some decorative wrapping paper and measure it out to fit your box. Cut it out and use a glue stick to stick the paper to your box. Once you've got the ends decorated, you can start with the sides. Glue, 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 and stick. Drill some holes equally distant from one another in the side of the box. Push a wooden stick through the holes. Do the same with the other side. 
push some long straws through the holes, fishing them through both sides. Braid the laundry room for clothespins. Make half of them one color and half another color. Stagger the clothespins and attach two per straw. Get ready to score some major foosball points. Goal! Fishing game. For this game, you'll need a paper cup and a bendy straw. Bend the straw all the way down and cut it so it's even on both sides. Apply two hot glue dots across from each other on the bottom of the cup. Glue the bendy straw into place. Tie a string to the end of a chopstick. Then make a hook out of wire. Cut it with a pair of wire cutters so it looks like this. Tie the other end of the string to your hook. You see where this is going. It's a fishing pole. Let's make some hungry fish. Draw a fish face on your paper cup bendy straw creations. Isn't she cute? This one's having a good hair day. Nice bow tie. Looks like the fish are ready. Let's go fishing. Barbie bikini. Barbie wants to go swimming. Let's make her a bikini. Take a balloon and cut down the side like this. Do the same on the other side. Keep the tip of the balloon attached to one side and cut the other side off. Now for the legs. Fold the balloon in half and cut along the side. Trace a line to follow. Snip, snip. Let's get dressed, Barbie. It's a little hard to stretch the rubber onto her plastic body, but don't give up. Stretch the loop over her head. Who's ready for a pool party? Marshmallow building. Got a bag of marshmallows and some spare time? Give this a try. Use a handful of toothpicks and poke them through the center of the marshmallows. Now you're a marshmallow architect. Create any building design your heart desires. How many stories high can you go? Let's add a rooftop. Now you've got a Barbie marshmallow dream house. Very fine architecture, don't you think? And so delicious too. Mini bowling. Got some plastic milk bottles? Take a small ball like this one, set them up and knock them down. Strike, strike again. We're getting pretty good at this. Rock dominoes. If you don't have dominoes, don't worry about it. Just collect some flat round rocks from the garden. Grab your crafty paint and a paintbrush. Paint dots and lines on the rocks to make your dominoes. Once you've got them all painted, you can play with your friends. DIY Slime Want to make some slime with us? Grab a bowl and some non-toxic white glue. You'll also need some saline solution and food coloring. Mix these ingredients into your bowl. Stir it up, then sprinkle in some baking soda. Keep stirring until you have a putty-like consistency. Everything's better with glitter. Add as much as you want and mix it in. How about a little more sparkle? Now you've got some slime. Make different designs and mix it up again. Slime Stress Ball. Need to de-stress? Try this. Pour some glue into a bowl and add some beads and pearls. Add your saline solution and stir, stir, stir. Add your baking soda and mix until it's a slime ball. Stretch the opening of a balloon over a funnel and feed your slime through the funnel into the balloon. Use a pencil to help get it through. Almost there! Now pull the end off and tie your balloon. Massage your hands with your new stress ball. 
It's so soothing. Spinner. Use a wide cup or bowl to trace a circle on a piece of paper. Mark two dots near the center, like this. Cut out the circle. Then, starting in the center of the circle, draw a spiral with the black marker all the way to the outer edge. Go back and widen the lines of the spiral. Flip it over and color small triangle shapes on the other side. It should look like this. Now use a pair of scissors to make holes where you mark those two spots near the center of the spinner. Take some twine and feed it through the two holes. Use your scissors or a pencil to push the twine through. Holding the strings in your hands, wind up your spinner. Then watch it spin. Pretty cool, right? Thanks for watching how we turned regular objects into toys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. See you next time.